Welcome back, friends. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. You are with me in my living room. And today we're gonna to do some prenatal yoga stretches. So as you know, I am 21 weeks pregnant with baby number two, and I'm trying my best to just be a little bit more active this time around, watch what I eat a little bit better. It's not going entirely as I had planned, but really, such is life. That said, I do my best to get to a yoga class on a weekly basis, and I just had yoga yesterday, so it's all fresh in my head, and so today I thought I would share with you some of my favorites from the class that I just had. Now, disclaimer before I get into this video. First, I am not a yoga instructor, so there is the possibility that as I'm explaining these positions, it may not come out entirely right, I may not do them entirely right, but overall you're going to get the gist of the move. Second thing is, if you have never done yoga before, if you have never exercised before, if you just have concerns about doing any type of stretching while you're pregnant, just check with your doctor first. I don't want you to do some stretches and then hurt yourself and then blame me, you know what I'm saying? So just be careful, but of course all of this is a very very, very gentle. I have done yoga for several years and I would suggest that this is very basic. So um, you're not going to strain yourself and a beautiful thing about yoga is you simply go at your pace. So if you see me do something and you try to do the same thing, don't push yourself to get into the same position, but rather just go as far as your body will let you. The first thing is that you're not going to need anything specific. As you can see, I am sitting in the middle of my living room just on the carpet. I have a yoga mat somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where but it's not necessary. The other thing you're gonna need is a giant pillow. Um, I happen to have one of these. You find these all over the place in Asia. It's called a bolster. I don't know if you have these where you are, but if you don't have this specific type of pillow, a big pillow will also do the trick. Preferably one that has a little bit of firmness to it because you don't want to totally give in to this pillow. You want it to support you during the positions. So we'll get started. So you're gonna take your bolster and if you happen to have two smaller pillows or even two bolsters, that would be awesome. And basically this is just a really lovely pose to just start your class and just feel like you just feel like relaxed or you can end your practice with this either way it works really really well so what you want to do is take your bolster and just kind of like I put it sort of under my butt and then I just start to lean down so that it's in the middle of my back and I'm gonna take these other two pillows with my legs and just uh, you're just kind of resting your back on your bolster and then you're going to take these other two pillows just for support under your knees whatever you think is the most comfortable you take your hands palms facing up just down on the ground and that's it as you're laying here you want to feel like you're opening up your chest so that you're not just like sinking into the pillows so you just kind of open up your chest you can rest here and just try to let your mind relax now to get out of this position, you're pregnant. As you can see, my belly isn't massive, but as you get really big, you don't wanna just sit straight up. So what you wanna do is take your right arm up over your head and kind of roll onto your right side. Take your left arm for support and just push yourself up using both arms. That way you're not straining any of your tummy muscles or gonna hurt yourself in any way. Another position with your legs, just cross like so, then do that. I prefer them a little bit stretched out um, kind of one in front of the other so my knees can kind of touch the floor. I feel like my hips open up a little bit more like that so it's more comfortable for me but like I said if you if your knees are up here so be it. If you need to put some support under your legs so be it either way. And then you're going to put your hands on your knees. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to breathe and when you breathe in so when you inhale you're just going to lean back like roll the top of your spine and then as you exhale you just push your chest out. So you want to like think about opening your chest and just push your chest out. So breathe in. Once I do that position, another one I quite like is in the same position, hands on your knees. While you're breathing in, you're going to start circling your body. So breathe in. And you're basically circling around your hips. So you can do this, let's say, 10 times in one direction and then 10 times in another, in the other direction. 
put your feet together, toes together, and then you can just take your hands and just loop them under your toes or under your feet. Or if you find that that's even too much of a stretch in your groin, you can just hold your feet, but you want your toes together. So same concept, you keep your back nice and straight. And the whole purpose is not to get your head to the floor if you can. Amazing, I cannot. Um, I find you can might notice my knees are slightly off the ground. Um, if your knees are quite high up, it's most likely you have some tension in your lower back. This is as per my yoga instructor. And so I tend to have a lot of tension in my lower back so my knees will not go flat. Um, and so what I try to do is just, as you breathe in and then exhale, just kind of push your back down. You're trying to keep your back straight as you do this because that helps you with the stretch. If you find, you can just continue this position as many times as you feel comfortable. Maybe give yourself a number like 15 and do 15 sets of it. You don't want to go too, too fast because you're trying to stretch out um, your body a little bit. The next position I want to show you is particularly good if you're suffering from heartburn. So you want to get into a position where you're basically on your knees like so, feet behind you, toes on the floor, and then you basically sit down on your knees and what you're going to do is interlace your fingers um, put the one thumb on top of the other so you're not straining your thumbs and as you inhale you want to bring your arms up over your head and as you exhale you want to bring them out and over to the side Another really comfortable position that I had mentioned back in one of those videos was, I believe it's called the cat pose. You're on all fours and basically it allows the baby to take the pressure off of your body, off of your hips, off your pelvis, off everything. The baby just gets to hang there and I find it super comfortable. So, so you want to have it so your toes are flat on the floor. All 10 toes are touching the floor. You want to have your arms pretty much directly down from your shoulder as you can see baby just gets to hang out and hang there you want to have your knees slightly you know hip width apart all five fingers on the floor all the way down to your fingertips so you're evening out the weight as you inhale you want to curve your back and then as you exhale you basically arch your back so you can repeat this and you arch your butt stick it out so this is the position and you just keep doing this as many times as you like now from this position you can actually move into an alignment position and essentially what you want to do is stretch it out behind you toes don't need to be pointed just stretch your foot out and if you're feeling pretty confident take the opposite arm and stretch that out in front of you as well And it's just going to help your body just feel aligned and just nice. It's a, it's a really nice stretch. Give it a try. If you find that the arm is too much, just stretch out the leg and then switch it to the next leg. And from this hands and knees position, I believe this next position is called the pigeon pose. I'll have to double check it for you. This is a really great one if you're suffering from sciatica pain and sciatica is like all down the butt and the upper leg. I particularly just love this stretch because it just feels so good. I toes on the floor for support. Then I'm going to take my right leg and bring it out in front of me, my body like this and you want to put your knee down and then toes flat on the floor so you have this right leg out in front of you and you just basically I start to lower my hip down and if you can and you feel really and you feel like this is enough then you can just stay in this position otherwise you can I'm out of breath pregnant lady trying to talk and do yoga stretches otherwise you can take your arms and slowly walk them out in front of you stretch. for the swap it over to the next leg. Another great alignment pose is the tree pose. So taking your foot and placing it in your inner thigh, you want to try and balance yourself as much as possible. You might feel like you need to hold the wall and that's okay too. With your knees locked, place your hands on your lower back and lean forward. This will open up your lower back. Take your bolster pillow, apply it straight in front of you, put it between, open up your knees a little bit, take a deep breath in, you want to like lift up your tummy over top of the bolster pillow and just rest on top of it. It's like in the middle of your body, hands on either side, and then you just rest your head. Close your eyes and take some deep breaths. Something you want to focus on is keep your tailbone like pulling down towards the floor. Um, you want to try and keep that as resting on your heels as possible. 
me, that is one of the most relaxing poses that I have found in my prenatal yoga class. I absolutely love it. I just feel so relaxed. So if you made it to the end of this video with me, awesome. I hope that you find a stretch that you really like. If you've tried some of these, leave me a comment below telling me which one is your favorite. It was a lot harder to film this than you would think. The light was terrible. It started to rain midway through. So fingers crossed I can make something of this video. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can also add me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave all the links below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.